Hello everyone. So far we have been learning about some basic concepts of math. Besides this, we have also started a series of short videos with the help of which we are now able to rectify some of our mistakes. But many times even if we have basic knowledge of concepts, we are unable to apply it in a given situation. So today we are going to start with a new series where we'll learn a way to apply that knowledge while solving a question. So let's look at the question and read it. Two poles of equal height are standing opposite each other on either side of the road, which is 80 meter wide. From a point between them on the road, the angles of elevation of the top of the poles are 60 degrees and 30 degrees respectively. Find the height of the poles and the distance of the point from the poles. After reading the question, what can we make out of it? To which chapter does this question belong? Well, there are certain keywords like height, distance, angle of elevation, by which here I conclude that this is a question of trigonometry. Now, as soon as trigonometry comes, we all remember a right angle triangle angle of elevation and depression, the six trigonometric ratios and their values for some standard angles. So keeping this stuff in mind, let me proceed to solve the question. Every question has two parts, the things given and the things we need to find. So let me write them. Now in almost every word problem, to visualize the situation correctly, we should always try to draw an appropriate diagram with the help of the information we have been given. So it is given that there are two poles which are of equal height standing opposite and uh, the distance between these two poles is given as 80 meters. Now next it says that from a point between them on the road, the angles of elevation of the top of the poles are 60 degrees and 30 degrees respectively. Uh, that means I should uh, take that point in between these two poles. So let me take that point here. Now to draw a proper diagram, we should know what an angle of elevation is. It is the angle made from a point when we look up to see the object. So this is the angle of elevation. Say this is of 60 degrees and this is 30 degrees. I have assigned this angle as 60 degrees because in this picture this angle is closer to 90 degrees. So this is the diagram and we also name it as A, B, C, D and E. So I have to find out by this diagram A, B and D, C and next I have to find out the distance B, E and E, C. Here I have information only about these two angles and uh, the distance BC. Let me also denote the height of the poles as x meter. So AB is x and uh, DC will also be x because they both are of equal height. So in this diagram, we can see there are two right angled triangles ABE and uh, DCE. Let's consider any one of them. Let's say we consider the right angle triangle ABE. Now please remember that we need to always focus on the things that are given and uh, the things to be found. So with respect to the given angle 60 degrees, things that we need to find that is AB and uh, BE, they are the opposite and uh, adjacent sides respectively. Now here comes the role of the 6 trigonometric ratios and I will choose sine. No. I can't because sine is the ratio of opposite side to the hypotenuse and uh, I am not at all dealing with hypotenuse here. So I don't need sine, cos, cosec and uh, sec. Here I am dealing only with the opposite side and uh, adjacent side. So I can either use tan or cot. Let me take tan. So tan 60 degrees is equal to 
the ratio of opposite side to adjacent and uh, opposite side for 60 degrees angle is AB upon the adjacent side is BE. So on simplifying we get value of BE as x upon tan 60 degrees and uh, by this table the value of tan 60 is root 3 therefore the value of BE is equal to x upon root 3. Friends, the solution of the equation is not yet completed. But here at this point, I want you to pause for a minute and understand the importance of the value table because this is where we all usually make mistakes. But don't be afraid by looking at this big table because we don't have to mug up these values if we understand some tricks to build the entire table which we have already learned in our previous sessions. So coming back to our solution, this time I will consider the right angle triangle DCE. Again in this triangle DCE, if I observe the things that I need to find out DC and EC, they are the opposite and adjacent sides for the angle 30 degrees. So again I can either use tan or cot. So by taking tan, I can write tan 30 degrees again as the opposite upon adjacent that is DC is the opposite and EC is adjacent. So EC is equal to x upon tan 30 and we also know that the value for tan 30 degrees is 1 upon root 3. So now I have the values of BE and EC in terms of x and uh, we can see that the sum of the distances of BE and EC is the distance BC. It was so simple to get the value of x and uh, it is equal to 20 root 3. I have taken x as the height of the poles so AB and uh, DC equal to 20 root 3 meters. Now very easily we can get the value of BE and uh, EC as we have to just put the value of x Hence, BE is 20 meters and EC is 60 meters. So the question is solved and we can also cross check the same. For example, in the diagram, this angle is 60 degrees, so this is 30. Same way, this is 30, so this would be 60 degrees. Now it's true that the side opposite to 30 degrees will be shorter in length than the side opposite to 60 degrees. And uh, hence, one can guess that the value of side BE has to be lesser than the side EC, which is true and also their sum is 80. So this shows that our answer is correct. So now as we have solved the question and uh, we have also cross-checked it, so let's do something more. Suppose there is some other condition where a builder wants to install two slides, one for the children below age 5, so he prefers a slide whose top is at height of 1.5 meter. And uh, that slide should make an angle of 30 degrees to the ground. Whereas for the elder children, he wants to have a slide at a height of 3 meters, making an angle of 60 degrees to the ground. So what should be the length of the slide in each case? So to find the height of this slide for the children below age 5, we consider the right angle triangle ABC. Here this slide acts as the hypotenuse and its height as opposite side for the angle 30 degrees. Therefore, here we use sine or cosec because they deal only with the hypotenuse and the opposite side. And the length of this slide for the children below age 5 is 3 meters. Now, this is your task to find the length of the slide for the elder children. Post us your answers in the below comment box. So friends, I hope now we have got the idea on how to solve any kind of trigonometry word problem in any given situation. Please follow these useful steps to solve any question successfully. Friends, it's my humble request not to think of mathematics as a bunch of formulas to be learned or procedures that are passed from teacher to student. 
Mathematics is rather a tool which sharpens our brain as it teaches us logical ways of thinking. So that's all for this session. In our next session, we'll be learning about different kinds of math questions. Till then, do watch our other sessions by subscribing to our channel, Let's Tube. You can also comment below or WhatsApp us regarding any query or suggestions on any topic of math. Thank you.